Hello everyone and welcome to Dear Danny. I'm Danny Sonic Sørensen and when I'm not coaching Astralis, I'm coaching your life. Each week I'll be here to answer your toughest questions on CS strategy, personal problems and everything in between. So whatever issue you might have, don't hesitate. Dr. Danny is on call. Let this week's session begin. So the next question I got is, Dear Danny, what's the main thing a team should focus on when they're starting out? How should a team approach learning a new map together? Do they start off with defaults and all? So obviously the first thing that you should do uh, when you're a new team or if you want to, to, uh, to try and learn a new map, could be Vertigo, could be some other map that you decided to play. Then obviously positions, who's going to cover what? I think that's essential, obviously. If it's a brand new map, like I said before, with Vertigo, then you also need to talk about the names of different spots. We spend at least five to six hours in Astralis on the first day on Vertigo, not practicing it, but just being on the server, trying out new stuff, talking about positions and, and name spots and, and all like all stuff like that. When you have done that, then I think it's really important that you both spend a lot of time on CT as well as on, on the T side. Many teams tend to spend a lot of time on the terrorist side, creating different tactics. Uh, my suggestion would be to create a default, create a standard, and then you can mid-round call yourself out of that situation, especially when you're trying to learn a new map and maybe people are trying to get to learn their new positions, then obviously you will learn a lot during the training games and not just by being on the server. So just start without having too many tactics, but just start with the default, maybe a... Uh, an A or a B go, or simply if it's a well-known map that you just decided to play, or if you're a new team, take a look at, look at different teams as well. I think that's an important thing. But first and foremost, spend a whole day or at least two to three hours on the server just going through stuff, talking uh, talking it through. A lot of mistakes that we did back when, when I was coaching Astralis for a couple of years ago, that was that we only tend to spend one hour talking about it and we could barely talk through all the, the key points that I felt was important. And then that was the terrorist side. Uh, also the CT side, talk about different setups. Again, copy some of the other teams to begin with and make sure you, you spend enough time keeping it simple, but making it thoroughly. Uh, I think that's so you get high quality practice. And then, yeah, uh, evaluate after each practice, what went wrong, what went right, what should we do differently. That's also really important. Good luck. So our last question today will be, Dear Danny, how can you get a team out of a losing streak without sacrificing team moral or even having the team fall apart? Okay, so that's a really good question. I think it's really important that if you are running into a losing streak and you're losing the same map a couple of times or maybe even more, I think it's first and foremost, it's really good to sit down as a team, talk about what you guys think went wrong and then afterwards go watch the game. And then write down what you think that went wrong or what was the cause of you losing that last game. Then try and practice and implement some of the mistakes or some of the solutions that you have come up with. And then take it from there. It's never a good idea to, to talk bad about a certain player or to go together without the player that you think is doing a mistake. And then talk with the rest of the team, maybe trying to, to get them to cut him or... It's really just, it really comes down to you guys talking as a team, but also being honest with each other. If you feel that there's one guy on the team who, who's not playing his position properly, then, then uh, maybe take a, a talk with him face to face or, or talk with, with the whole team together and then be as positive as possible about it and not, not just raging against him or being impolite or, or stuff like that. I think that's really important that you come together as a team, but also remember to be honest if you feel that this is the part of the of the game that I felt that lost the game. And if that's a player or two, or if it's a certain bomb site that you always lose the game on, then then be uh, straightforward about it. But but uh, be polite as well. That's it for today. See you guys next time. Please feel free to send me more questions on the hashtag Dear Danny. Then I'll make sure that it will be in the next episode. Take care, guys. <laughs>